Before you can receive your extended validation or EV SSL, the issuing certificate authority must authenticate your organization through business validation. We'll be referring to certificate authority as CA for the rest of the video. This video will show you how to track the progress of your SSL's validation and how to speed it up. Once you activate your SSL, you should receive a digital subscriber agreement form via email from Sectigo, the issuing CA. Follow the URL inside the email. Copy the validation code. Enter the code. Verify that the company details are correct. Review the agreement. And fill out the form. It's recommended that the phone number you include is the official contact phone number of your company. The agreement should be signed by a full time employee who is authorized to approve the contract. Typically, this is a C level employee. Once you've filled out the form, click I accept. You can monitor the validation progress by visiting the URL of the subscriber agreement. The CA needs up to 10 business days to review your SSL request. The CA will attempt to find your company listing in an official government database or a reliable third party database during that time. If they fail to find the needed information, they will reach out to you via email. To help the CA confirm your details and speed up the review process, you may upload documents that prove your company's legal and physical existence. First, check if the organization is listed in a government database. Search for the relevant website in your state or country that lists this information. For example, if your company is in the US, you can check each state's Secretary of State website for information on any corporation or business entity. Head to sexstates.com, choose the state where your company is registered, and search for it there. The CA will need to confirm that the SSL request was submitted by an authorized person within the organization, either via a phone call or email. Government databases generally don't display the company's phone number, so registering your company at a third-party database such as Dun & Bradstreet may be worthwhile. To check if your company is registered at Dun & Bradstreet, go to dnb.com and search for your company. The company name in Dun & Bradstreet should be the same as the one you entered when activating your SSL. Likewise, the listing should also contain the company's address and phone number, and it should correspond to the address and phone number you gave during SSL activation. You can also find the DONS number of your company listing, which is an ID for your company, in the DONS number lookup section. You can provide this ID to help the CA locate your company at Dun & Bradstreet. If the company is missing in Dun & Bradstreet, you can apply to receive a DONS number free of charge. This process is not instant and can take up to 30 business days. If the company is listed in Dun & Bradstreet, but the phone number or address is missing or incorrect, you can request to update information by claiming the profile or provide the CA with a legal opinion letter. We have included a link to a sample form for creating a legal opinion letter in the description. We recommend using a legal opinion letter as a last resort when the CA can't verify your organization because it may be an expensive process. The legal opinion letter should be signed by a lawyer, a public notary or a certified public accountant. We highly recommend requesting the opinion letter from a person who speaks English so that they can confirm the signature during phone verification with the CA. Once you have updated your database company listing with the proper address and contact details or prepared a legal opinion letter, you may send this information to the CA to speed up the business validation process. To do this, visit the URL from the subscriber agreement email and expand the organization validation section. The page will display the status of each validation step and the option to upload validation documents. To upload, click Upload Document, then choose a file, for example, the scan of the signed opinion letter or the screenshot of your company listing at Dun & Bradstreet, add a comment explaining the file contents and hit Upload. The next page displays all your uploaded documents and their status, indicating whether they've been reviewed and accepted. Wait a few business days for the CA to review the documents. If you don't hear from them within that time frame, you can submit a ticket to Sectigo requesting to review the documents at sectigo.com forward slash support ticket. When the validation is passed and the number is verified, the CA will contact you to arrange the call. You can also request the callback yourself. 
The CA representative will call the verified phone number during your country's business hours and ask to confirm two things. First, that the person mentioned in the agreement signed the contract with Sectigo. Second, that the contract signer is a full-time employee authorised to order a certificate on behalf of the organisation. If the CA manages to verify the company's email address but not the phone number, the CA will send a verification email instead. The email will contain a URL that you must follow and fill out the form. When the call or email verification is complete, the CA will need one business day to review the order details once more before it issues your SSL. You will be able to download the SSL from your SSLs.com account panel after it is issued.